But Scoop, let's enough of that. Okay. What it's all about is premierships and whether or not you can win one. And Jeff Brown will be monitoring it because he's going to join us on Monday night, or at least the, the folk that will be uh, hosting the program. I think the Beaver is in. And be, he, and 10 upset clubs here, aren't they? And he is going to actually understand just how difficult it is because there's a lot of people wanting to write you off even before you put your backside in the chair. So on the at the behest of an idea that was uh, given to me down at Tommy Ruffs and Morty Alec, I have suggested to you, if you want to be as famous as Mike Sheehan, you have to have a list. I prefer not to be. And that list for you, and you've accepted the challenge, is to monitor those sides that can win other premiership in the next five years and those that can't. Yep. And then next year, the teams that can win it. we focus just on the one year. And that can be a moving picture. Because well, I can change it every Monday. Things change. But I can't change, the, I can't change the five-year. No. So I, I can I'm change the year but not the five-year. I, I might give you one at the end of each year. Okay. You can change your five-year plan. Okay. I mean, I went through with Ron Barassi's five-year plan and 35 years later to deliver a premiership. So things can change, Scoop. I understand that. So from the outs, who can't win the flag over the next five years? Okay. So we're calling it the cans and the can'ts. Obviously, it's my opinion before everyone jumps off. So if you name your team as a can't, it just means oh, I think... Don't that. try and placate people, Scoop. You know that's uh, okay. not going to work. Just I think there are 10 teams that can't win a flag in the next five years. In the years. next five years, okay. North Melbourne. Gold Coast. North Melbourne. Gold Coast. Yep. Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Collingwood. Collingwood can't win it, yep. St Kilda. St Kilda can't win it. That'd be a surprise to the Saints. Adelaide. Adelaide, fair enough. Carlton. Carlton will be challenging. I think uh, they may challenge you. Essendon. Oh, that is a big call. West Coast. West Coast is a controversial call. Geelong. Oh, Andrew Mackie. In his first year, and the very day he gets anointed, he gets elevated to the role of list manager. I think he's out in a long lunch, so hopefully he's not listening. You say the Cats can't rejuvenate and win a flag in the next five I years. I think the Cats have peaked. I think they've reached their ceiling. Okay. Which means there are eight sides, Scoop, who can win them. Have you got them in order? Uh, no. No particular order. Okay. M- Melbourne, yep. Brisbane. Hang on. Melbourne, Brisbane. Richmond. Richmond. GWS. Yep. Sydney. Sydney. Bulldogs. Bulldogs. Fremantle. Frio. Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide. So what's the difference between Frio mm-hmm. and the Bombers? Um... I think Frio have built from the inside out, and mm. I think they've got a better midfield. I think the Bombers, who have got, they have recruited some really good tools, and they've obviously got a lot of young talent. Still, mm. a little bit like Carlton, to be honest, haven't na- nailed the midfield. And I think if you go back through um, a lot of the recent premiers in the last two decades, mm. it's built around a really deep midfield. Not just three stars. I'm talking. I mean, the Bulldogs showed in 2016. Yeah, you know, when Luke Beveridge basically picked sixteen midfielders, really, yep. out of the twenty-two. So th- that's it's all an opinion game. Obviously, that's just where, where I think. So he ran into young. I think it's Ben Hobbs, their number one draft pick. Yep, um, he's another top ten midfielder that goes in. They've got Merritt. They've got Parish. Yeah, I mean Parish is really they've, really. They've helped. got the package. Who is their Who is their Dusty? Yeah, um, I'd like to see him do it again. Yep, I have another year like that. Yes, okay. Well, that's the challenge. It's a challenge for him and the challenge for them. I, I don't think they're as far off. Tell me this. what do you, Will you address if Ben King lobs at the Bombers? Changes everything. That changes everything? Yeah. They're, they're... And that's why I'm giving you an out. Because at the moment, you can only base it on what you know. Yep. You don't know who's going to turn up. I also think, like, obviously there's examples that go against this. But I also think, you know, winning finals helps build for a premiership, mm. right? Essendon, it's been a long time since they've won a final. Carlton don't win finals often. So I, I just... Well, yeah. winning winning finals in round one of the finals and then round two and round three and round four of the finals always helps. Or if you can just jump one list and only play three finals. Yeah. And I, I give you Melbourne as an example. I know they played finals three years ago, won a pre, lost a, pre, a prelim final. Mm. But it can come together pretty quickly if you've got the talent, the raw talent. And Melbourne were underperformers for a period of time after that prelim. They just lost their way, but they still had the talent. And that was the great frustration. So let me give you the teams I can think think can win the flag next year. Please There's do. There's not many of them. Okay. 
Melbourne Bulldogs. Hang on, Melbourne, the dogs, yep. Richmond. Yep, nothing controversial so far. Brisbane. Brisbane, nothing controversial. That'll be it's interesting here for Brisbane. They we'll really agree. have to push up hard. Port Adelaide. Yep. The Giants. Well, I think the Giants would be the only one that people would sort of not have on their immediate list. No, I like the Giants. I think the Giants have got heaps of upside. I think Jesse Hogan can kick fifty goals and if they can just find, so a, find another one down back, I think they'll be they'll be hard to beat. You've got Port. You're saying Frio can't win it next year. Sydney can't win it next year. A bit early ones. for Sydney and Frio, yep. But all the others, you've got winning it over the next five years. Yep. Would you? Yeah, okay. Well, I find that I, I can't argue with your sides for next year. Yep. I'm sure you can argue with the sides. Well, I think I think at the end of the day, we'll have a, a revision at the end of next year, and, and you'll be the one that will change. I, I certainly think the do, the the bombers can win it in the next yeah that's five a, that's years. the controversial one I think they can absolutely uh, give it a shake but they'll need their midfield to continue to grow McGrath to come back in um, they'll need to find themselves a couple of key defenders yep love love shield to have a big year yep nice. No,